This is the craziest thing that has ever happened to me. Growing up in the South, in everybody's neighborhood, there was a football land around somewhere, so my mom signed me up for football when I was probably about six or seven years old. I loved offense, I loved running the ball. I loved to hear my mom scream while I ran down the sideline. Tell me about the Kenny Moore story. Former undrafted free agent from Valdosta State was cut by the Patriots, claimed by the Colts. Having the secretary from New England tell me that I was going to Indianapolis was a blessing in disguise. And it's Kenny Moore! I mean, he comes off that blitz like a man possessed. I'm just happy to be a Colt. Growing up in England, running was always my biggest thing. I was the best runner at, um, at school. So that was one of my big passions. As we entered into those teenage years, um, you could start to see some changes. I started to make the wrong friends who were into the wrong things. Depression really started when I was 14 years old. We tried everything. Therapists, forced discipline, changes of schools. What is it that's going to help him feel better about himself? It's hard for a person to accept himself that um, he might have an addiction problem. I did attempt once or twice to, to basically um, end it. Yeah. You don't know if... Uh... Well, you just don't know if your son's going to come home. My friend told me that he's going to be flying to Costa Rica and staying in a hostel, working in exchange for free accommodation. My wife and I were like, we don't know if Max is going to last another week in London. Let's let him go. I found Chica after about a month and a half of um, being in Costa Rica, and she was biting, and she was just very small and 12 pounds or something. And uh, the next day, I bought her a collar, and, um, some food, and then she just kind of started to stick around. If I would go out to the water, she would just kind of sit there on the beach and just wait for me, and I would see her from the distance. And it became a point where he was just very connected to, to Chica. It gave me a um, sense of purpose and like need to take care of her and walk her. And like, I need to be here in this world because like, she, what is she going to do without me? Just roam on the streets again. The transition was when he very calmly said that he was ready to leave Costa Rica. He was ready to take the next step, and it was just almost a change of tenor in his voice. And he described uh, that he wanted to come up here to Indiana. It's a new contract for Kenny Moore, a four-year extension with $30 million of new money. The deal makes Moore the highest paid slot corner in the league. And the first week of India was pretty cool and back in the U.S. with my family and seeing everybody again. And I was out taking Chica for a regular routine walk and she broke out and she took off straight towards the main road. I was in traffic on West Street. As the light turns green, the, the car that was first of everyone floors it. And I see the dog run out. And then the car hits it. They like tap the brakes and keep going. I ran up to her and I mean, there's blood. She's like, look, she's having a seizure or something. Like, is she just about to die on me right now? I saw a car pull up and a door open and... Kenny said, I got you, we're going. I jumped into the car with Chica and the whole entire car ride, she was biting, biting my hand so hard because she was in so much pain. And I remember that my hand was like dripping with blood. He was telling me that the dog had saved his life. I didn't know how to take it, I didn't know how to respond, so I just said, I got you. I'll take your dog to the vet for you, it'll be all right. Kenny jumped out the car and ran towards the door and um, told them what happened. The vet says Chica's gonna die without surgery now. They push into the surgery room. 
spot the football at the 37-yard line. Play action, rolling left. He's trying to go upfield, and the ball is picked off. It's picked off by Kenny Moore. Kenny saved Chica that day. And arguably, by doing so, he saved Max. I'm not sure to what extent it did for his life, but it kept a friend as far as Chica. And he gained one in me. I'll always be thankful for him. I'll, he'll always be one of my greatest friends. And without him, who knows, maybe I wouldn't be in the place that I am now. First of all, Drew, I want to thank you so much for sitting down with us. It's nice to meet you, Melissa. The question everybody wants to know, how is Max doing right now? He's doing great. He's, uh, you know, I think when these kids go through the trauma that they go through um, and get to the other side, it's still something that um, will be with him forever. Um, but now he's managing it. You first shared your family's story in a blog called Stay in the Game. The response that you got was far bigger than you ever thought you would. Yeah, we ended up having over half a million people read the blog and, um, and then other folks would send it out through other channels and mm -hmm. We had folks from around the world ask if they could translate it into Portuguese or into French and, and share it in their countries, and it was just powerful. I'd like to read back a comment that we read on your Twitter page. I'm reading this seven years and one day after we lost my nephew. I'm so glad Max has stayed in the game. Mm, yeah, it was amazing to me. There were a lot of those messages from folks who had lost their kids. Mm -hmm. They were grateful that maybe this would prevent it from happening again to somebody else's. So mm -hmm. I was just like, wow. And some of the some of the things that subsequently happened were pretty, pretty incredible. Like what? Well, you know, you get messages from people, you know, saying that they're on the edge. And Max in particular got a, a direct message on Twitter, said, Hey buddy, can I speak to you? And um, I need your cell number. Max said, sure. He gave it to him and the and the guy called him. I'm 18 years old, I'm exactly in the same place where you were three years ago. I can't take it. And I just bought a gun. And I was gonna do it. But then I, somehow I saw your dad's post show up in my feed. And I'm gonna stay in the game because of you. Wow. 